start off on page uh, 157, and we're going to go through this chapter in thirds. So I'm going to go over the first few lessons, and then your test on Friday is over 6-1 all the way to 6-13. So we got a lot of lessons to cover. Hopefully we can cover it all a little bit at a, at a time. Okay, on page 157, uh, we're just going to go over the types of problems I want you to get. So look at number one on the try these. Uh, by the way, your quizzes, you guys are wondering about your quizzes. I'm wondering about them too. Uh, because they were, some of them were bad. I mean, they're just straight bad. And I'm saying, it wasn't that you didn't get stuff. It's that you did not read the instructions. So I want you to read the instructions here on this problem, and I want you to follow them. Other than explain, you don't have to explain anything, you just have to follow the instructions. So number one, try these, page 157. For example, it said on the quiz, indicate the slope. And I looked everywhere in your work and I couldn't find where you said slope equals this. So you didn't follow the instructions. What does it mean when it says indicate the y-intercept? What am I looking for? Sorry, someone said it. The b value. What's the y-intercept? You, you write y-intercept equals blah, whatever it was. Just follow the instructions. You should do fine. Okay. Um, so we're doing number one. And I wanted you to give me the domain. And I want you to give me the range. And do you guys remember I want it in a certain order? And you don't repeat any values. So what's your domain here? Henry, you look ready. What's your domain? Um, four. Four. You only have one domain value. It's four. He's just repeated several times. And then what's your range value? Jackson. Zero. Mm -hmm. So you just give me those uh, values. And then what did it ask you to do? Indicate or tell me if that relation is a function. So you have to tell me if it's a function, yay or nay. Philip. It's actually not a function. Can anyone explain why it's not a function? Sam? That's okay. Um, because the domain is paired up with um, more than one other number. Perfect. Every x value has to be paired up with only y, one y value to be a function. And we see that 4, how many pairs is it? How many different numbers does it match up with? four different numbers, so it's not a function. Okay, and that's a tough definition, but I hope you guys get it. Uh, do number two, real quick. Uh, what we're gonna do today for review is we're gonna review like the actual lessons real quick, and then we'll do a review game to see if you guys can kinda uh, get this nailed down on your own. And then I will give you a little homework, very tiny homework that you must complete for tomorrow, just so you're getting this all here in a game and at home. So hopefully you can get all of that. All right, Hudson, what's your domain? Um, uh, zero, negative two, negative four. Okay, those are the values, but how do I want it listed? I want from least to greatest. So it'd be, I think it's negative four, and then what? Okay, so I want least to greatest. And then your range, same thing, least to greatest. Uh, Brad, what's your range on that problem? Negative four, negative three, negative two, and zero. In this case, it happens to be the same. And is it a function or not, Gracie? It is a function. Can anyone say why it's a function? Because every x value has exactly one y value. And that's true from the domain range and from the ordered pairs. Okay, that's good on that lesson. Let's turn the page. Go to page 159. 159. This is 6-2. And this is, I think this is the most critical lesson of the whole chapter. 
If you don't know how to graph a line, you cannot graph a system of lines or an inequality correctly or a system of inequalities. If you don't know how to do 6-2, you don't know how to do four other lessons in this chapter. So we really need to get this down. Okay, on page 159, there's an equation up there. It's right in the middle. It says, which graph represents, and then they give me this, y equals 2x plus 1. Go ahead and graph it on your paper. y equals 2x plus 1. Graph that out, please. And if you cannot graph this line, you're going to struggle on that test because your test has a lot of lines. Okay, I'm going to do this with everyone. In about 30 seconds, I'm going to ask the class a question and the class responds back. All right, class, where do I start my graph? Class responds on the y-axis. So you should start right there because that y-intercept is positive 1. Okay, what do I do from there, class? I go up to, up to over 1. Up to over 1. Or I can go down. down 2, excuse me, over 1. Okay, and then I connect the three points and I get my line. Okay, how many of you got this line? How do I know that my line is properly sloped? There are two things I want to look for here. How do I know the slope is pretty good just by looking at it and the equation? Philip? Positive goes left to right, goes up. What's another thing about the slope? Rise over run. What do you know about that? Anybody? Rise over run. You're allowed to answer. Natalie, what's, what's the rise over the run on this one? So what's the slope of the line? And it's, on, it's in the equation. Yeah, it's 2 over 1, right? So we go up 2 over 1. Can I go up 4 over 2? Yeah, because the same ratio, 2 over 1. Okay, hopefully you got that. Now what I want you to do, this is kind of extra, but this is from 6-12. I want you to graph this line. You do whatever you need to, to answer that question. Do you want on the same graph? Uh, different, different graph. So this is 6-12, just to give you a heads up, you're going to do this again, but a little bit differently. Got it. Or did I? Did I get it? Wait, isn't it the same thing? What's the critical difference? And it's critical. I'll mark your points off on your test if you gave me just that. Okay. Alex? It's in equations you need to draw, like you need to color them anything. Sorry, it's an, it's an inequality. inequality. So I do have to shade something. And what would I shade on this problem? below it, and below it would be here. So that's shading when I have inequalities. So you guys notice there's a difference between the two? You need to be able to distinguish that because they're not the same. If you don't shade a region, you gave me, um, you left out an infinite number of answers and that's not the answer when you leave out infinite number of numbers. Question? Uh, was 6 times 13 is System was with two at the same time, and 6 12 was just one of them. So that would be 6 12. But yeah, 6 13, you got to do that too. Okay, uh, let me give you another page. 161. Three things you need to know from 6 3 positive correlation, negative correlation, and what's the third? 
no correlation. Okay, on page 161, how do I know something has a positive correlation? Do you guys know what the definition or how to figure that out? How do you know it's positive? You just have dots. As one value goes up, the other one goes up as well. And think, what's that line called? The line of best fits should be from left to right. From left to right, how should it go? Up. So it's like your positive slope. What's a negative correlation? Negative correlation. Matthew? When one thing goes up, the other one goes down, or vice versa. And how do I know that from a from a graph, the dots, how are they arranged? The line of best fit would cover uh, left to right, downward. And then what's no correlation? By the way, remember your quiz? There was one answer that was no correlation. Do you have a line of best fit with no correlation? Can you put a line of best fit for no correlation? You cannot, because if you could, then it would be positive or negative. So what's no correlation mean? It's all dotted. It's all scattered. There's no pattern. And that's, you have the three examples right there in your book. Okay, any questions on that? That's what I want from 6-3. 6-4, this is what I want. I need you to memorize this. That slope is referred to as M. Okay, whenever you see M, what do you think of? Slope. And then what is slope? What's that little ratio that we talk about? Something over... Something, which is, yeah, rise over run. You need to know that because that helps you to graph. That helps you to interpret a graph. It's always rise. And is the rise over run always positive? Is it always negative? Could it be zero? Yes. Yes, it could be. It's not always positive, not always negative, and it can be zero. And do you guys remember that there's a formula to get the slope when you only have two points? Nice job pulling it out from weeks ago when we looked at the SOAP formula. By tomorrow, every one of you needs to memorize this whole thing. You need to memorize this is part of your homework. This has to be memorized. If I say what letter indicates slope, what's the answer? What letter and indicates the slope? M. What's the slope formula? Yep, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And then what is the ratio that slope is describing? Um, mm -hmm. So you can get letter, ratio, or formula, and these are the parts. Letter, ratio, formula. All right, how many of you have already memorized that? Good, you should be there already. And if you haven't, you have until tomorrow. Okay, any questions on that? All right, here we go. I'm going to pause you swivel for a little bit. Um, what I want you to do is get out your workbook, and we're going to begin our review game. Um, and I'm going to split you up. The other class, it came up with a great idea, just kind of randomly. But let me ask this question. How many of you were born from January to July? January to July. Just raise your hand. Keep it up. Uh, one, two. Ooh, it worked perfectly like the other class. So we're going to do this. If you were born from January to July, you're on this side. If you're born from August to December, you're on this side. Yeah, I would bring our stuff. You can leave your backpacks alone because that's just lugging it along. Just a workbook and a paper and a pencil. You don't need too much. In your workbooks. Oh yeah, five points to the first team that gets to their seats. Uh oh. Go on the back behind Jackson. Oh, it is not. It's anybody's game right now. Are you on this side? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, this side gets the five points. 
I thought you guys were both on different sides. Okay. Um, who was born in July? Who was born in July? Okay. I'm actually going to do that. So July's, we're going to put you over here now. And so it's going to be January through June versus July through December. And then that evens it out better. Say it again. Yeah, oh, we ended it already. Okay, that off. Yeah, it's a little imbalanced, but I'll say if they all get it right, they get two extra points because they have two fewer people. Okay. Page 175. I'm not giving any help or any hints, and you need to cover your papers, and you need to flip them over if you're done. And you're not allowed to communicate. If you communicate, it's easy points off for your team. Sorry. Number 12 on page 175. It needs to be perfect in order to get the points. No pressure. 